fintech firm Ripple, headquartered in San Francisco, brought its annual SWOL conference to London this November. The secrets, strategies, and figures behind Ripple were revealed in this conference. Stay tuned. Hi again, welcome back to Crypto Marker. The Ripple Swell 2022 conference was held on November 16th and 17th at Magazine London. The conference was attended by the Ripple CEO Brad Gollinghaus and other major market participants, representing not only the crypto market, but traditional financial market as well. Before I continue, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on daily Ripple XRP videos. Among others, the list of attendees include Jorn Lambert, Chief Digital Officer at Payment Behemoth MasterCard, Yuan Chen, Chief Executive Officer at Trust Wallet, Emma Joyce, CEO at GBBC Digital Finance, Alex Manson of SEC Ventures, Derek Walton, Head of GTC Emerging Payments and Innovation at Bank of America. In the conference, many major announcements were made that surely drive XRP's price upwards. Some of the most significant announcements were made related to the advances on RippleNet and firm's chief product, ODL. The RippleNet network, which connects financial institutions around the globe, has already crossed $30 billion in payments, which includes both fiat and crypto. Moreover, roughly 40 payout markets are now live for Ripple's on-demand liquidity solution. Ripple recently partnered with MFS Africa, which has the largest mobile money presence in Africa, with over 400 million users and more than 800 payment corridors across the continent. The new partnership is designed to streamline real-time mobile payments with ODL for customers in 35 countries. MFS Africa is also a member of the Pan-African Payment Settlement System. PAPS facilitates payments between countries with a unified settlement system and is similar to SWIFT, specifically for Africa. For the XRP community, this is an important testament to Ripple's ability to get things implemented. What is particularly interesting is that PAPS connects not only banks, but also central banks. As a result, a speculation is rife that XRP-based payment technology could expand to include national wallets given the proliferation of mobile wallets in the region. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch our other videos to know more about XRP and Ripple.